What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Just got another quick video for you today. I want to show you how easy it can be to put on a dirt bike tire on the rim. But first, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell. Then you can come on back, check out what we got going on and make sure you hit the like button. Always appreciate that. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I don't know how many of you have you ever used uh, one of these stands or if you've ever even seen one of these tools. So obviously you have your basic pry tools here and then you have your bead lock. Highly suggest to get one of these if you don't have one as well. Uh, this tool is called a no pinch tool. And basically what it does is just uses leverage to force the bead of the tire over the rim. So I'll set you guys up and show you how that works. Okay, so we're all set up, ready to go. Um, I already ended up using this tool to get the other side of the other bead on. And um, you do have to use pry bars when you're getting it off. I found that using some type of soapy water on the bead of the rim when you're putting it back on really helps. But it's really simple. The first thing you want to do is you want to find your, your bead lock here. And this is a, a rim and tire I'm doing for a buddy. Um, he let one of our other buddies borrow the tire so we could go to the track. And uh, so now I'm putting this tire back on the one buddy's rim. So first thing you do is you pry this side down right by your bead lock. And then uh, you get your bead buddy on there. That's not a bead lock, it's bead buddy. And then all you do, I like to put this over here. It seems to help when it comes back to this side. So you just want to take this and set it up to where it's got the right leverage or to where it's got the right distance. And then you just go around and push that sucker on. And once again, just like, you know, normal, you want to make sure that you're pushing this back side that you have already put on the rim into the lowest spot to help the rest of it stretch. And go back, push this down. literally that easy And especially with a new tire, this isn't a new tire, but on a new tire, I like to make sure that I put a little bit of uh, soap or you can use tire changing paste around this uh, whole bead here. That'll help it pop up where it needs to pop up.
half, 13 pounds. And that's it. Let's go ahead and tighten down both of your nuts here. And you're done. I think the average torque spec is about nine foot pounds, I think is what it said. Six to nine foot pounds on these, on the rim lock. Pretty much just keep going until it feels like it's starting to snug up and then you give it like another eighth to a quarter turn. All right, guys, that is it. Like I said, it was a quick video. And just to show you guys how easy your tire changing game can go. So I highly recommend getting a Baja no pinch tool. Get yourself a bead buddy, get yourself a, some type of tire, tire changing stand, some tire changing paste, and a set of pry bars. It's just gonna make things so much easier for you. So that's it, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys like what you see, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the alert bell, that way you're notified of future updates to the channel. And always smash that like button, always appreciate that. So we'll see you guys in the next video. So come on back, take care, ride safe, and God bless.